Hello, good evening. Um, just wanted to share a quick update for you, with you. Um, so, it's this, right here. So, yep, this is a circuit board, and now one of them is inside of here. Um, this is a prototype of what a case might be. Um, and yeah, let me show you how it works. So I'll grab a battery with a wire on it. And um, forgive me, I'm doing this with one hand. But I can snap this down onto the wire. And if I grab a motor here, and I'll just plug this in on one of the outputs. And we'll fire it up. And let's see if we can see it there. There's a blue light flashing inside. Not sure if the camera's picking it up. Anyways, we will uh, fire up the app here. And uh, connect to, no, connect to the device. So it's connecting. And there we have it. And now, there's the motor. And you know it works and we've got you know tilt input. Um, alternatively there's sliders down here. And also the standard, you know, you've seen all that already. Anyways, so this is the, the big improvement right here. It's got a box. Flashy box. Um, and that box is the size of 4x3 in width and length and it is one brick and two plates tall that's five plates tall so you can see you put that right side by side that's a perfect match all around so that is the size of it and now you you may be asking, well, where are the technicals, right? Well, if you take something like this, 2x4 plate on the bottom, 1x4 plate on top of that with a 1x4 Technic brick, another 1x4 plate, we'll snap the case right on there, and another 2x4 plate on top, and there's your technicals. Now, we can do some pretty cool stuff with that. You can throw another Technic brick on the bottom, another Technic brick on top, right? And you can cross brace it really easily. Or maybe uh, this isn't quite what you're looking for. Then, excuse me for a moment. If that's not quite what you're looking for. 2x4, 1x4 plate. Now, with Technic bricks with holes on the side. And again, you could put another Technic brick on top and bottom and cross brace it. So it's pretty versatile. And if you're not building Technic, then all this comes off and you're left with that 3 by 4 by 1 and 2 thirds. Really small compared to LEGO's IR receiver and you can fit that pretty much anywhere. And you get two outputs just like LEGO's receiver. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Comment, let me know what you like, what you dislike, and subscribe for future updates.